Hello again. In this video part 7, Publii Static Site Generator, we're going to take a look at how to update Publii and we'll take a look at the very important file called the config.json file. So let's dive into it right now. Okay, so how would you know if Publii has an update? If you look at the top of your dashboard, no matter what area you are in, you will see a, a update. But before you update, you can check it out. And you can go to the Publii site and check the release version and what's involved. And it's a very intricate information here showing examples, images, etc. So you know exactly what is involved with the update. So you can look it over if you want. You, you know satisfied, you can go back to your dashboard and you can download it from the Publii website, which we'll look at now. Okay, before you update your program here, you may want to check what version you currently have. So you go to the right corner, hamburger menu, and click about. And in about, it will show you. In my case, I'm had, I have the 0 0.36 version. So I can download the 0 0.37 version right now. To download the new version, you go to the Publii download page. Then you select what operating system you are using. Very simple. And you just click download for your particular operating system. And this window will come up, but in my case, I'm already registered. So I'm just going to exit out. And as you can see, the zip file has been downloaded. And I'm going to open it up. And of course, like anything else, going to ask you if you agree to the terms and services so just click yes and close out the, your current since my app was open it's closed out so the installation can start very simple now once that's completed probably will start up again and you can see there's no um version to download it's gone now so you go to the about page again and you can see I have version 0 0.37.1 built installed ready to go now let's take a look at the config.json file it's overview where can you find it and we'll take a look at this file in our text editor going back to the version release information as you scroll down you notice there was a section on the w supported features on the config.json file and gave some examples of what what changes there were and what you are able to do now as you can read here Config file is sim almost similar to what you see in WordPress with the exception of there's no database so there's no database information but it has uh, much of the configuration files for Publii stored in this file. Using your file manager go to your C drive open Publii open resources open apps are unpacked open default files open default themes and that's your default um, theme simple and there it is uh, config.json file which you can download and edit for your purposes now this is the config.json file i downloaded as you can see as i open it up in my text editor and the purpose of this file 
it stores the main theme configuration and information for the theme that is rendered whether it's simple or another theme and you are allowed to edit certain portions of this file but it is recommended that you don't touch the the renderer section you are allowed to config the config section anyway uh, there's documentation on their website um, uh, more about this particular file now if you want to find out more about the config JSON file you can go to the Publi website and under documents there is a whole page on the config.json file which you can look they have a screenshot of the basic scripts and it explains the purpose of the config file gives you what you can and what you cannot or what you shouldn't do it gives you examples of um, scripts where you can configure it things that you need to do so if this is something you're interested in you can go to their website okay in the next video we we'll, we will continue looking deeper into Publi, how you use it some of the functions and purposes so i'll see you in the next video so have a great day or night wherever you are